Hello students, welcome to your first PUC NCRT practical session. In today's session, we will be studying about the presence of sugar in the urine sample. For this experiment, take a clean test tube and add the urine sample to which you will be adding few drops of Benedict's reagent. While you add the Benedict's reagent, next process is you will be heating the test tube. While you heat the test tube, you can see that the color being changed between green to brick red. So while you just heat the test tube, the initial color will be green color indicating the presence of 0.5% of sugar. If you still heat, the color from green changes into yellow indicating the presence of 1% of sugar. If the process or heating continues once again, the color will be orange which will be changed from yellow to orange which indicates the presence of 1.5% of sugar. Still further heating gives you the brick red color indicating the presence of more than 2% of sugar. While you heat, if the color retains in any one of the position, it indicates the presence of sugar from either 0.5 or 1 or 1.5 or more than 2 based on the color what is remained in the test tube. That is regarding the presence of sugar in urine sample. Now for example, if while heating the test tube shows the yellow color and retains in the same color, then it indicates that the presence of sugar will be only 1% in the given urine sample. So if the color retains in any one of the stage indicating the respective percentage of sugar in the given urine sample. For this experiment, the materials required will be test tube stand, few test tubes, urine sample and Benedict's reagent. A test tube holder as well as stow for heating process. Take a clean test tube, add few drops of urine sample. And to this test tube, add Benedict's reagent. When you add the Benedict's reagent, the test tube will be showing blue color. When you add the Benedict's solution to the urine sample, the test tube will be showing blue color. Next is you have to place this test tube in a test tube holder and heat the test tube. So heat the test tube where you can see the color is slowly getting changed into green. So from blue color. Now the color is slowly getting turned into green color indicating the presence of glucose with only about 0.5% in the urine. Still if the heat is passed continuously the color now slowly turns into yellow indicating the presence of 1% of glucose and slowly it is turning into orange indicating the percentage is 1.5 and finally it is giving out brick red color indicating the presence of more than 2 percentage of sugar. So in this test tube now you can see the urine sample contains more than 2 percentage of sugar indicating the color brick red. While heating we have seen that based on the change in the color the percentage of sugar has been indicated where green represents 0.5 yellow represents 1, orange represents 1.5 and the test tube in which you can see the brick red color indicates the presence of more than 2% of sugar in the urine sample. In today's session, we will be studying about the presence of protein in the urine sample. For this experiment, take a clean test tube to which you will be adding the urine sample and biurate reagent. While you add the biurate reagent, if the urine contains of proteins, it gives out violet color and indicates the presence of albumin. If the test tube do not give violet color, it means that the urine sample is not containing any albumin in it. For this experiment, 
take a clean test tube to which add few drops of urine sample. To this test tube, add few drops of biurate reagent. If the urine contains albumin in it or protein in it, it gives the color violet. If the urine sample contains albumin protein in it, then the color of the urine changes into violet color. So in this test tube, now you can see that the urine is having albumin protein because of which when added with biurate reagent, it gives violet color. In this session, we have learnt about the presence of sugar or albumin in urine samples and how they act when either Benedict solution or biurate reagent is added into the urine sample. I hope you understood this session. Thank you.